Merudi shoot and come up easy, which is good. We love that. It's because we have some. You have the ladies. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, I have a beautiful lady sitting with me right about now. She goes by the name Masi Masai. She is an actress. She is a fashion model. And most importantly, she is the founder of Masi Mission Foundation, which is a charity organization. She'll be telling us more about herself, more about the charity organization, and what they are doing. Masi, yes. welcome. Thank you. How are you? Okay, so yeah. kindly introduce yourself to be a bit more about Masi. Okay, um, I'm Masi Masai, mm -hmm. uh, but my real name is Masi Nashipai, mm -hmm. uh, founder of Masi Mission Foundation, uh, an actress and a fashion model. Mm -hmm. mm, that's all. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> yeah. So, are you a student? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, oh. I <laughs> said that you're a student. I'm a counseling psychologist and HIV management by profession. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. All right. So um, tell us a bit about all these things you do and how you find time to, you know, act, model, you have time for your charity and have time to practice um, counseling. Okay, well, um, first of all, mm -hmm. um, Mercy, Mercy Mission Foundation, mm -hmm. um, basically a charity organization. Mm -hmm. Um, we've been here for two years now. Mm -hmm. We're going to be having our two years anniversary on 15th March. Yes. Uh, for us, we do planning. Mm -hmm. So, for example, tomorrow we are having an event, mm -hmm. Takwa Bisil. Mm -hmm. Bisil, Il Bisil Primary School. Mm -hmm. Before we even get to the event, yes. so tell us about um, the charity, okay, the, the, the organization. What do you do? What do you basically do? Okay, mainly mm -hmm. we do, what we do exactly is we do visit the orphanages, mm -hmm. street kids, mm -hmm. and also we in the fight against FGM and early marriages. Mm -hmm. But with that, mm -hmm. what we do is that we go to the rescued centers, mm -hmm. we provide uh, the basic needs for them. Mm -hmm. We don't go to to the homes like... Yes, yeah, you, yeah. like you're not on the ground. No, we're yes. not on the ground. Okay. So how long has the organization been operational? You said you're turning two years in two March. Two years in March. Mm -hmm. How has it been and how has the growth been of the organization? Um, first of all, it's, it's been easy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's been easy mm -hmm. because if you're passionate about something mm -hmm. and you're really into it, mm -hmm. you do it with, you give it your whole. Yeah. So with that, and also I have supportive members mm -hmm. and also the fact that we don't at we don't do much we are too funny we too that we can't do them yeah we you do what do you are able can, to yeah, do yeah, that yes. things that we're capable of doing mm -hmm. in a funny in a poor mm -hmm. yeah. um what inspired you to begin the organization is it the fact that maybe you've studied um you're a counselor um, uh, you actually yeah, was it inspired by the fact that you are a counselor, maybe? No. Mm -hmm. uh, I started it because, uh, first of all, I grow up in family. I know what it means to have nothing. Mm -hmm. And I know what it means to have nothing. 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 I get fulfillment from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. So tell us a bit about the event that is happening tomorrow. Um, the event that is happening tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, is basically. And where you're visiting and what your goal is for tomorrow. Okay. We're going to Ilbisil Primary. Mm -hmm. Ilbisil Primary serves as a rescue center. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to. We've been there twice. This are going. This is going to be our third time. Mm -hmm. We are going to give sanitary towels and food. Um, that's all that we're going to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in that rescue center, who do you have there? Uh, we have uh, girls mm -hmm. and boys. Mm -hmm. Although girls no wingi, uh, most of them wako niwale watu wamepitia FGM. No, ni wala watu wamepitia abuse mm -hmm. like yes. Ya yeah, unapata the girls when you are kuwa wamerepiwa with their mm -hmm. dads gender based violence. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe GBV. Mhm. Mm uh, another thing ni wengine unapata wako hapo because mm -hmm. wa awali ni za ku 
was as well how how to keep up all of raising them. So we thought we wanna in a lead kwa wa kwenda kulea mapema. Yeah. So to avoid that, we mm-hmm. wanna let our boys. Mm-hmm. For the boys, wengi ni wale wenye was as well how to raise up all of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what is the goal for tomorrow? You've talked about donating sanitary towels. Mm-hmm. So our main goal mm-hmm. is to ensure that how as chana how they will be back to the society. Okay. Unajua ukitolea huko uliko na kolea kozo mapema or uliko una na go FGM alafu unapeleka mali you don't have food. Ama you don't get the basic needs. Utaanza kufeel the need would you go back to the society mm-hmm. uh, we interacted with them mm-hmm. so at least by now we understand their needs so to kind of palate and job what they need mm-hmm. so our main goal is to make sure that our children who have hope mm-hmm. at least they are in a conducive environment mm-hmm. and they at least they're getting the basic needs yeah. yeah so do you do you get to practice counseling with these young ladies and mother homes that you visit or the people that you visit we, we do we do that yeah. really mm-hmm. uh, okay to kind of orphanages I don't do it much mm-hmm. but okay na mahali kama hapo kwa those girls actually we need counseling more than anything mm-hmm. because unapata sasa leo unatoka mtu anapata na kuambia I'm trying to I've been trying to forget this I've been trying to get peace with this but I can't mm-hmm. but now unapata another challenge is that for example I'm based in Nairobi wako in Bisil mm-hmm. I can't it's hard for me to commit to in Bisil because yeah uh, again it's hard for me to end up kuanza kwenda kwa society kuangalia counselors wengi wako hapo so we are trying kujua wenye tunaweza kwa tuna cooperate na chief huko mm-hmm. at least or someone wenye anaweza kwa na tusaidie tunapata counselors wengi wanaweza kwa wakenda kwa counsel out the girls frequently yeah, yeah. So as we wind up, do you have any success stories from the visits that you have done? Maybe there's a lady that who went to Karudi Kwa Society and she successfully decided to stay in the home and change her life and become better. Okay, uh, we had an interview mm-hmm. uh, till this year mm-hmm. with actually you see Queen Tumena, three girls mm-hmm. like they were giving up. Mm-hmm. Some of them were giving up. Some of them were giving up na atuna food but again tukakana wao chini tukawaongelesha tukawaambia sisi tukajitukaongea wakati wana shida they reach out to us and again sisi tutakuwa tunaenda kwa visit frequently mm-hmm. so i'm hoping that kesho tukienda i'll find them there mm-hmm. but in the meantime i can't say that's a success story yet yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's it's headed there yeah 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 okay so where can people find you on social media if they wanted to support um Instagram mm-hmm. Mercy Mission Foundation mm-hmm. website we have a website as well Mercy Mission Foundation Facebook Mercy Mission Foundation mm-hmm. Twitter Mercy Mission Foundation mm-hmm. yeah okay anything else you'd like to add uh, I don't have anything else to add uh-huh. uh, ningependa tu kuambia watu wenye wako pale nje it's not a must to kwa Mercy Mission Foundation ndio usaidie mtu wako pale nje mwenye anaumia mm-hmm. and Unaweza una tu mtu yoyote mwenye anaumia ama kunja and everything. Ukipita pale kwa street wale watu hii usiwa pige mateke akikuomba ka 10 bob or something. Kama una feel ukimpatia 10 bob ataenda ku buy glue, enda mm-hmm. kwa shop buy ata maziwa. Mm-hmm. I mean, change start with us. Yeah. Let's be our brother's keeper. Mhm. Tusaidie mm-hmm. without even the cameras. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true. That yeah. is important. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming through. Yes. But keep up the good job and you. you know, people need supportive people like you and people who think about sometimes you do things out of experience and you bring other people on board. Same same way. Oh. Saying. So thank keep you. up the good work. Thank you very much. Yes. So yes, that was Masi Masai. If you want to support, if you want to be part of Masi Mission Foundation you know what to do and just as she has said you don't have to be in that foundation so that you show someone love or kindness it starts with the people around you okay let's get